Hey guys. All right, welcome to Math Today. All right, so today in math we are talking about comparing numbers. And when we compare numbers, we try to decide if they are larger or bigger or smaller. So that's all we're doing when we compare numbers. We're just trying to see which one is bigger and which one is smaller. And that is a really important skill. For example, let's say somebody wanted to give you either $321 or $346. And what if you didn't know which one was more? Because of course, you're gonna want the one that's more, right? Because everybody wants more money. But what if you didn't know which one was more? Is it important to know which one's more? Yes, very important. So that's what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna learn to compare numbers and be able to tell which one is more and which one is less, okay? Okay. So, let's get started. I'm going to pull up my math book and we're going to talk about two different ways that we can do this. So, the first one, um, we're actually going to use our, our models or our blocks to compare the numbers and see. So, let's look at this first one. At the zoo, there are 137 birds and 142 reptiles. Are there more birds or more reptiles at the zoo? Well, I'm going to write 137 and I'm going to put a B beside it because that's birds. See, it says 137 birds. And then I'm going to say 142 and I'm going to put an R beside it because that's the reptiles. And I have to decide which one is more. Well, one way is I could actually draw this number with blocks. And then I'll be able to look and see which one has more blocks. So if I look at these two numbers now that I've drawn them with blocks, I see I'm going to start with the hundreds. That's how I always compare numbers. I start with the biggest and then I go to the smallest. So if I look, I see they both have 100. And that's the same. Neither one of those is less or more because it's the same. So I need to go to the tens. And if I look at the tens on both numbers, can you see which one is more? Yes, it's the reptiles because four is more than three. So my answer for this one would be more reptiles. Because the tens were more in this number. Since they both had the same hundreds, I had to look at the tens. So drawing blocks is one way that I can do this. There's also another way that's easier. Do you want to know the easier way? Oh, I figured you did. So let's look at this next one. Tom's book has 105 pages. So I'm going to write 105 and I'm going to put a T for Tom. Delia's book has 109 pages. So I'm going to put a D for Delia and put 109. Whose book has fewer? All right, so I'm going to teach you a little bit of an easier way where you don't have to draw those blocks. You can look at the number and compare it the exact same way we did the blocks. So we start with the biggest. This They both have 100, just like the other numbers. Since they both have 100, we have to go to the tens. Well, they both have zero tens. What do you think we have to do? Yeah, we're going to have to go to the ones. This one has five and this one has nine. And this time we're looking for fewer. Fewer means little or smaller. So which one of these is smaller? Would it be the one with five or the one with nine? Yeah, it's Tom's with just five is smaller. So we'd be able to write Tom's book on this one because Tom has fewer pages. No, it's not going to be that bad. It's just comparing numbers and we talked about how important that was. But remember when you compare numbers all you have to do is look at the hundreds first and compare both of the hundreds and if they're the same then you'll have to go to the tens. If the tens happen to be the same you'll have to go to the ones and compare them. But it goes hundreds, tens, and ones, and we just look and we see. If it's asking which one's more, we're looking for which one has more. If we're looking for less, we look for the one that has less. Less means little. It's not going to be so bad, is it?
Okay, so let's try some more in our math book. And if you want to get your math book out to practice this, sorry, I cut my head off there. If you want to get your math book out to practice this, you can, but you don't have to. You can just watch the screen if you want to. All right, so let's go back. All right, so let's go to the next page. All right, so this one we have a story about Mary and Jake. And it says Mary's puzzle has 164. So I'm going to do 164 with an M for Mary. Jake's puzzle has 180. Whose puzzle has more? So we're looking for more again. Well, remember how we compare those numbers. We're going to look at the hundreds. Since they both have the same hundreds, they both have one, and neither that's not more, that's the same, so we'll have to go to tens. Oh, see, Mary's has got six, and Jake's has got eight. Who's got more? <laughs> yeah, Jake. So we're going to be able to write Jake right there. It's not bad to what we're doing today, is it? No. I'm going to try one more with you, and then I'm going to let you try a page on your own. All right, so there are 246 people at the game. There are 251 people at the museum. At which place are there fewer people? So this time we're looking for fewer. So I'm going to say, okay, 240. Whoops, 246 are at the game. I'll put a G for game. 251 are at the museum. I'll put an M for museum. I want to know which place has fewer. Remember, fewer means little, so we're looking for the little number this time. Well, we start at the hundreds and they're the same. So what do you think I'm going to have to do? Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the tens. Oh no, those are different. I'm looking for fewer. Which one is fewer? Yeah, 4 is smaller than 5, so that makes it fewer, so it's the game. So we're going to be able to write at the game. Good. All right. The next two, you're going to see your assignment today is this page in your math book. And I just want you to do number 5 and number 6 because we already did number 3 and number 4 together. So just do number 5 and number 6 on your page and turn it in. And then there's another video where we're going to learn a different way to compare numbers, a different way to do it. So after you do these two, that's not the end of math, go back in and watch the next video I make, okay? Alright, I will see you in just a minute.